Hello, um, I'm here to present uh, my concept for the Future Milk Packaging Brief. The um, concept I come up with um, is called One Milk. Um, the, the main aim behind this project um, was to create something, a product which had no disposable element, really. Um, and the main piece of research came from last, last year, I visited, um, I managed to arrange a visit to um, a dairy and a packaging plant. Um, and the main aim of the visit was to go and see what, what, what was possible, whether, whether um, you could create a product with, which had no disposable element, whether there was a way of refilling, refilling cartons and things. Um, but the most important sort of eye-opening and big piece of research that came out of that, which really encouraged this product, um, was um, the simple fact that we, I managed to get a quick walk around um, the bottle blowing factory behind the factory, um, the, behind the dairy, sorry. Um, and it was um, quite shocking, this, this um, block bar, the factory runs 24, 24 hours a day, it never stops, and it was actually um, struggling to keep up with demand for the dairy, which was requiring the packaging. Um, um, so yeah, after that I'm coming home and so I'm doing a bit more research. Um, we start to discover that um, in the UK alone we get through um, 15 million polycarbons a day. Um, it's estimated that about only 35% of them are being recycled at the minute. Um, so just to talk you through the products, um, yeah, like I said, there's no disposable elements, so there's, there's two parts really. There's, um, there's the serving container from the home. Um, the idea with this is it's, uh, it's nice and robust, so it's, it's reusable. Um, the only look, it shouldn't break. Um, if it should, it's reconditionable. The, this white outer casing can be removed, and then so the parts that are prone to wear can be um, replaced. Um, so yeah, this sort of hopes to bring back the forgotten tradition of serving milk in a presentable container in the home. Um, and then for purchasing and transporting milk, there is um, like a, these are called milk cartridges um, with a nice sturdy handle on top. Um, so yeah, there's, I proposed three ways that the um, milk cartridges could go um, and it would go into uh, the implemented into stores. Um, Top two circles, I don't know that you can see, but um, I did it sort of in two stages as a way to encourage maybe supermarkets or other uh, stores to get on board with this. So, the first and sort of most less intrusive way would be um, to simply just replace polycarbonates with milk cartridges on the shelves um, and they'd be sort of a bring back scheme. Um, and then you have two cartridges, so there's sort of a wash and a wear, so when one wants to be used, one can be being, uh, taken back, refilled, uh, and then swapped over. Um, and should this be successful um, to go further and implement it, um, do some research and find out there is actually um, products out there which can create milk vending machines essentially. So milk can be transported from the dairy to the supermarkets or to anywhere in convenience stores yeah, in, in bulk containers which are reusable. Um, and then, yeah, simply taking the, the cartridges to this milk vending machine, filling up yourselves. Um, yeah, and then finally, so as, as a separate entity to this, um, there was another sort of way of implementing this product which might be quite interesting, which was to bring back the, the traditional milkman, if you like. So, uh, making it, um, there's, some, there's, there's already sort of concepts on the market, such as milk and more and things like that, but making it like an online thing where you can order your milk. Um, so, yeah, a way of um, bringing back the, the milkman. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know how much time I've got left, just to talk to you through one minute. One minute, yeah, I'll just talk through a few quick details with the, uh, with the product. And the idea of it being reusable is that it's quite a robust and sturdy product. So I talked already that the, the outer casing can be replaced should it need, need be, but um, the idea that it's, it's quite chunky and robust. So to open the, the serving container, this, this lid is rotated through 180 inch opens it, when it's open, the small little tail at the back points up to the visual sign that it's open. Um, yeah, when you flip it back over, it's, uh, that tail disappears and it goes closed. But yeah, the idea with making it reusable was that it wouldn't be um, prone to failure. It's quite, quite basic in its function. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.
You visited the dairy plant, I understand obviously that part of the process. Yeah. Have you given any consideration to the uh, process of producing the units and the cartridges? Uh, manufacturing these, sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry, um, something I never mentioned. Yeah, I visited a company, um, a, a few injection molding companies, and got some quotes back actually about manufacturing this. Um, there's a few little problems with this container in particular. It's, it, there's quite a lot of plastic involved in that, but still. Um, I got some quotes back from some companies, um, and for a run of around 10,000, you can get sort of this for 99 pence in manufacture. So, um, in terms of its sort of retail value, the idea is to keep the, the retail price as low as possible to encourage people to do it. Um, so, yeah, um, in terms of buying the products at around the four to five pound mark, and that possibly comes with the first pint of milk. Um, so, yeah, trying to keep it as low a price as possible. Mm -hmm. I see that the inner unit is, um, got, is it double lined? Sorry? Is it double lined, the inner unit? This here? The, the inner, jug, the inner the jug, the jug? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, uh, this one thing I was going to talk about actually, um, because the, the container itself only holds at present one, one pint of milk, um, uh, as the project developed, it sort of carried on after I presented it actually. Um, um, it's simply to be, I have to speak to their manufacturers as well and realise there's quite a lot of plastic around there as we to remove that base effectively. Um, so then it could have different sizes of containers. Different size cartridges? Yeah, yeah. different size cartridges sort of place in. So, so does, a little bit of weight. Does, does the jug have any added value to it? Does it insulate or is there a...? Um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, I guess... I, 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 when I was sort of working on the project, I, I did look into making it an insulated jug so you could leave it on the table longer. Um, the only problem with that is if you sort of use something like a vacuum uh, to, to create the insulation, um, then it's no longer dishwasher safe and things like that. So I run into a few problems there, and then it also put the cost up quite a bit. Um, um, so yeah, uh, but it, was, it was something that was considered, but no, the jug doesn't actually insulate. Um, I did a few tests with, with milk and things, and, in, 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 in an average temperature room, it looks all right out of the fridge for most of the generally for the duration of most of the other times. I've got one more question as well. On the temper evidence of milk packaging is obviously critical. Yeah. Did you give any thought to how you would uh, overcome the problem of temper evidence? Yeah, temper evidence. So to check that as it stands now, somebody yeah. could open it, put something in, and then put it, close it again without any... Uh, yeah. um, I did and I didn't. I mean, this, this model's quite a basic model and it doesn't really um, show the detail of the, 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 um, the final design. But um, in terms of if it was going to be placed on the shelf, and it was this, this idea of a, of a return and collect a, a full one again, um, one of the ideas I had was to simply, the cartridges would be sealed without that lid, if that makes sense, so that there'd be a film on there. Um, and then you bought that when you took this back with you and you swapped your empty one for a full one. So that's a way of keeping it temperature I guess, if it was on the shelf. But uh, in terms of people... Okay, thanks, Ed. That's, that's your time. All right. Okay, very much indeed.